hi guys welcome back to my channel so today is going to be a very interesting video and I am really excited to film this one for you guys today because it is still part of the back to school theme but the only difference is that this video is going to be 10 ways of how to save money while you're in school and I think that this is going to be a really helpful video for a lot of you guys just because who doesn't want to save money so if you want to keep watching my video, just stay tuned. And I'm also going to have another video next week and it's going to be called 10 things I wish I knew before I started college. And I'm just really excited for these videos and I'm going to stop talking. I hope you guys like my videos and give it a thumbs up if you did really enjoy it. And subscribe, don't forget to subscribe so we can become best friends. Follow me on my social medias if you want to be my best friends, we can be friends together. And I'm going to stop talking now. So let's get to the video. Got my handy dandy notebook here. I think you guys remember this one from my last video. Ha! See, I did use it. So number one, pack your own lunch to school. I cannot stress enough how many times my tongue is blue. I was eating an airhead. Okay? <laughs> I cannot stress enough um, how many times I've like gone to the cafeteria and bought food. Like. I work for a living, you know, because I'm not born into royalty or anything like that. So most of my money went to food. So pack your own food at home, make a sandwich, a salad, whatever you like to eat, and just take it with you. If you are going to pack your own food at home, I suggest you buy it in bulk. As in like, don't just, you know, prepare a meal and then tomorrow you're going to be like, oh my god, I don't know what to eat now. See? So if you just buy a whole loaf of bread and a lot of ham and cheese and lettuce and tomatoes, you'll have like three sandwiches or maybe even five for like the whole week. Who knows? Number three, still on the food subject because you know food is life. <laughs> if you are hungry and you did forget to pack your own food and you didn't buy in bulk like I suggested, then there are some friends that do have a meal plan at school and they can swipe you into the cafeteria for free and they're just gonna swipe their little ID card and guess what you just ate for free make friends another way for you to save money is to carpool with friends so if you don't dorm in your college or if you don't live nearby and you do have the same classes with friends I suggest that one day you drive to school and then the next day your friend drives or you can all just hop into the same car and like put gas money together that way you're not only spending gas every time that you have to drive to school by yourself this way your friends can help out and they can save money too another way to save money with your friends is to borrow um, their books or to purchase books from upperclassmen so if you do have a class that your friend took last semester or last year and you do need and you do need that book for now then all you have to do is borrow the book if they're nice enough or if they're an upperclassman or someone who took the class before you can always purchase it from them they're always willing to get rid of their books I know I was so <laughs> they're going to sell it to you for a much cheaper price than your school library or the bookstore you can also buy books in advance from Amazon because they do tend to be cheaper than your local bookstore or your school bookstore and other book places like that. I don't know where you guys get your books from. <laughs> but Amazon does offer low prices and sometimes you will even notice because I have noticed that when the days get closer to school beginning that the prices go up. So if you buy your books in advance, if you know that you need that book and you just buy it like a month, two months before you start school, you will get it for a much cheaper price and you would have saved a lot of money. Way number six to save money is to make your own coffee at home. I know that I can't live without coffee. Like, coffee is life. Coffee is like, that's it. If I don't have my coffee in the morning, then I am not me. My world just collides if I don't have coffee. If you saw in my last video, um, get ready with me morning routine for school. You did see that I do have a Keurig machine and I did purchase that to make my life a little easier and it's just going to help me make my coffee in the morning so that I don't spend $5 on one cup of coffee at Starbucks. Even though we all know that Starbucks is also life, you know, maybe it's the best coffee place around, uh, you know, who am I to judge or, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Make your own coffee at home so that you're not spending loads of money at a coffee cafe. And then back to the book subject. 
and you do take care of your books and you do take good care of them some schools let you sell sell it back to them so if you do take good care of your books you could get a fairly good price for them not necessarily exactly what you paid for but you could sell it back to your school and get some cash back so that's always a good option and then number seven is to go to school events I know that my school always has like activities and things like that that if you're a student you can always attend to for free they have concerts and things like that and most of the times they do include food so great way to save money another way to save money is to not hire a tutor I know it's like but I need help like why are you telling me not to hire a tutor well because some schools do have like a tutoring center for free where you can go and get tutored for whatever subject you're having trouble in and it's going to be at no extra cost to you. It's just included in your student package, I guess. So instead of hiring a tutor, you can just go there and get a tutor. And then also what you can do is if you're really good at a subject and your school doesn't offer any tutoring um services or anything like that, you could just tutor um, people or friends for cash. So if they need your good math skills, then you gotta charge them. You gotta make a living too, I guess. And then the last um, way to save money is to take advantage of your school's gym, um, nutritionists, nurses, things like that, because they do offer free counseling. So you should take advantage of that. You should also take advantage of the gym because gym memberships do tend to be pricey. So if your school has its own gym, even if it's a little small, or if you don't like um, the equipment that they have, I do su um, suggest that you do use them just because it is free of charge and you can always, you know, like quit if you don't like it, but it didn't cost you any money, so it doesn't matter. And that was it for my 10 ways of how to save money at school. Let me know in the um, description bar below if you guys um, did enjoy this video, if the tips were helpful at all, if there are any tips that you would like to share with anyone else on how to save money while at school, just comment it down below. All comments are accepted, unless it's something that's not nice, then it's gonna be erased. <laughs> but anyways, Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!